ball out of his hand. For three, that's in, coming off an assist by Kobe. He's got 30 and kicks to Bosch. Gathers. No good from Boykins. And they forced the miss with that good defensive rotation. They're playing well together as a unit. And that's it, folks. The Los Angeles Lakers have won it all. Wow. This is the moment you dream about growing up as a kid. I mean, this is something that each and every one of these players will remember forever. Last time you guys saw me, I was on the big stage and we came up on top against the Miami Heat. Now, I released a video letting you guys vote on what you guys want to see next. And here is my decision. So yes, here it is. I decided to create a very new player, which is a small forward. The things were really hard reading your comments because a lot of you, half of you, literally half of you wanted to see the second season of my point guard and the rest of you wanted to see a new player with the updated rosters with all the rookies included and all the recently updated trades. So here it is, my small forward with everything you guys asked for, whether it's the rookies, whether it's the traded rosters, everything is included. And I'm going to be making an athletic point guard. And one of the play types that he has, I'm sure you guys saw there, um, is pretty much going to be, you know, cutting in, you know, creating my own shot, calling isolations, and pretty much dunking on everyone. So, I mean, my guy is six foot eight, 194 pounds. And there's going to be a little problem with that because when I'm going to be trying to post it in and take it inside, he's going to have a little problem because he's not that you know built for his size so usually when you see six foot eight guys other than kevin Durant, you see guys that are like two 220 pounds but for this guy i made him 198 and another reason why i didn't you know continue with my point guard is because of the fact that you know me playing it you know i don't want to say i got bored of it i was definitely enjoyed you know i definitely enjoyed playing with them but you know after a while it just you know you want to have something to look forward to a new player to play with so that was some of the factors that went into my decision, although a lot of you guys did want to see the point guard. And also, another thing was the rosters were really funky, and there was a lot of trades that happened with that my player that are were beyond crazy. So that's why I believe uh, we needed a new start with all the new rookies in it, all the, you know, the new trades that happened. That's another reason why... I decided to not continue with my point guard. So there it is. You guys saw all the stats. Here is the signatures that a lot of you guys did want to see from last video. Um, his jump release is 3. And his jump base is jump shot 26. Now, this pretty much equals what I believe looks like Carmelo Anthony's jump shot. Now, a lot of you did have your own versions, but in my opinion, this sort of looks like his jump shot. And pretty much my guy's overall template is the old Carmelo Anthony. You guys saw me saying that in the last video that I uploaded, and that's what I'm gonna be looking to be creating. Now, I know it's not just me. A lot of you guys also do this as well, but you know, when we usually create a player, we usually tend to make them look like a favorite player of all, a favorite player of ours. You know, not just a favorite player, but a player that we enjoy watch. You know, enjoy seeing. And in this one, you know, I pretty much wanted to make my guy look like Carmelo, and that's what we're gonna be going with here. So, I did want to show you guys all the signatures because if you guys want to, you know, make my you make your guy look like mine or see what I'm using right now, here's what they look like. So, uh, running floater, I started to use the guard reach hard reach running fade swing man default running spin shot was a spin swing man fake high and a running hook which i'm not going to be really using a lot is a swing man lean now i am going to be doing a lot of post shots i don't know if i'm going to do a lot of turnarounds but i'm going to be batting my guy down and doing a turnaround and taking it to the rack and you know pretty much dunking all over the center but again the only problem is i definitely have to improve my guy's ball handling because Half the time, he's going to get stripped from the ball or, you know, because of his size. So, um, that's what we're going to be doing so far. Crossover 7 behind the back 7 is my ISO crossover and ISO behind the back. Spin move, which is going to be really important. I decided to go with spin move number 5. Uh, ISO step back. I decided to go with step back number 4. All these goodies, you guys can pretty much look at it yourself. So, here is one of my favorites. 
uh, one of the decisions why I, you know, decided to create a small forward was to pretty much dunk. You guys know my guy's dunking was terrible. So I decided to make an athletic guard. Uh, the dunk package is an athletic guard. And I'm going to be picking, I believe you can pick about 10 special dunks. So, you, you know, you have to go with the Jordan Jump Classic, the windmills, the tomahawks. And that's what I did here. So this is pretty much the creation of my small forward. Expect the sh rookie showcase and the draft pretty soon. So hope you guys are excited. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.